Have you ever wanted to do something in life like embark on a new adventure, work towards a meaningful and exciting goal, experience something different from the norm and you've not done it because of that voice in, the, in your head that has said, you can't do that, you're not good enough, you're not confident enough, you're not brave enough, you're not worthy enough, and the voice continues giving you a list of limitations. Do we actually pause and reflect and challenge these thoughts? Do we ask ourselves whether these thoughts are valid or not? We don't because at the subconscious level, we think that they are true and we resign ourselves to this truth. I love this quote, the sky is not the limit, our beliefs are. These thoughts that we accept as the truth become limiting beliefs and beliefs are powerful and they do exactly that. They limit us. They limit us in our career and success. They limit us in our marriage and our relationships. They limit us in our money and finances, in our parenting, in our spirituality, in our health and well-being. Quite simply, they limit us in every single area of our lives. Now, when we actually look at the truth of who we are as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine deputies that have this infinite amount of potential, they say that the potential of the human being cannot be measured because human beings have the ability and the capacity to continuously grow, continuously transform and continuously progress. Therefore, it's important that we actually challenge these limiting beliefs because they go against what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has willed for us, which is success on every single area of our lives and every single level of our being. So inshallah, in this month's group coaching and mentoring session on Belief Alignment SOS, I'm going to be delving into one of my favorite topics, limiting beliefs. And we're going to be taking a deep dive into understanding what limiting beliefs are, how they are formed and how they limit us and creating, empowering beliefs that are in alignment with the truth that we were created as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's divine deputies with infinite potential.